Okay to my YouTube subscribers, watchers, viewers, any of yous. I know it's been like many fortnights since I did a fortnight. <laughs> but the PlayStation 4 died, as it does. But you know what didn't die? My childhood love of Yu-Gi-Oh! Never dies. And with me, uh, my little brother Andrew here. At Fatal Shelf 263 on YouTube. And we're going to be divvying up this new Speed Duel Starter Decks. Ultimate one Predators. Them, yeah, one of them's for Weevil. One's Weevil for Knievel, Rex. And the other one's for Rex that... That guy. He, Re he's not the pest because pests are bugs. The down Rex Raptor. Those two dinks we're going to be playing The Velociraptor. Ass. Okay. Now we'll just I'll, open it I up all nice, nice-ish. As nice, nice as we can get. We're going to go through the promos first yep. since they should give us this. Where, where is the camera? I'm sitting not appropriate to where the thing is. It's okay. there. Boom. The box is empty now. Now what do we got left? We got, we got Rex. And we got Weevil. Boo yeah. And then finally, what we've got is a little deck mat that we're not gonna use here. Why have I got yours and you've got mine? Switch them <laughs> back. I know you wanted Rex. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna set up a little speed duel right out the box. Skill cards are allowed. Obviously. Since that's what a speed duel is. That's cool. I already got some pretty cool cards. So yeah, how do you open this? As best as you can. I look at what I've already got. Dinosaur Kingdom, That's Nightmare Sonic like... Blast. What is Nightmare Sonic Blast do? That sounds really cool. You can activate this skill while you control Serpent Knight Dragon. Once per turn, you can reveal the top four cards of your deck. Use one of the following skills depending on the number of monsters. Add one of Look the reveal cards to your hand. Destroy one card your opponent controls. I got Jar of Avarice. Apply both effects. Pretty sweet card. Alex, I got Jar of Avarice. Oh, and it's ultra rare too. That's pretty cool. I got Hyper Metamorphosis and Hidden Parasite. I'm not going to tell... Alright, I won't tell you. You can activate the skill I control level 3 or lower... Insect normal monster. Discard two cards and tribute one level three or lower insect normal monster. You can tr control the special summon one perfectly ultimate great moth from your hand or deck ignoring it summoning conditions. Any damage you take for the rest of the turn, your opponent takes for the rest of the turn is halved. Pretty sweet. Nice, we got some pretty cool cards coming out of here. Can't Hidden wait to do it. Hidden Parasite. Once per turn, you can change all monsters on the field to insect until the end of this turn. Also, any bow damage. Okay, so we start a opponent. speed duel. Andrew's the speed duel master, and I'm the traditional master. I know master. how to play speed duels. So we start the game with four cards, right? Yeah, we start. I play a lot of duel. Hey, Alex, should we add the promos in or no? Yeah, go for it. We each get a promo card for this set. All right. And then the next time we get the set, it'll switch. So then you'll be Weevil. Or no, then you'll be, Rex, be Rex and I'll be Weevil. All right. Okay. I know how speed duel. So we only get three monster zones and three spell and trap zones. Yeah. It's pretty much set up much the same as the dual mat is that we get with it that we're not using. I don't really know if I got any extra deck monsters or not. I There's no checked. extra deck monsters. Okay, cool. Hey, Alex, I think, like, we're going over 30 if we add the promos. Who cares? Eh, it's okay. The promos exist for a reason. Right? Right. At least we still have the same amount of cards. Uh, do you know what skill card you're going to use? Uh, yeah, mine's right here. Okay. I activate my skill card, Dinosaur Kingdom. Guessing it's like Wasteland? It's like Wasteland and Mountain, but for dinosaur cards. 
Now, as you see, when we do these speed duels, you we can start out with like four smaller cards, deck, four cards, up and then we get this skill cards. Up to 30 cards. There's only fusion as extra deck. Yeah, and now we still don't know who's going to go first, so we're going to do rock, paper, scissors. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Andrew decides. You go first. Okay, I go first, and I don't draw a card like in the traditional TCG, correct? Yeah, correct. Okay. I... Summon a Mad Sword Beast in attack mode. And I end my turn. I draw. Um. I think that if I can position myself right, the camera will stay. What's it doing? It ain't doing. It. Now it's doing it ish. It's doing it enough. I summon winged cleaver in attack position. I, I equip it with amulet of ambition. What does, since you have a level four and I have a level two. My monster gains 500 attack points for every difference in levels. So my monster gains 1,300 plus 1,800 attack. Now has 1,800 attack and attack your mad sword beast. So now you take 400 life point damage and since life points are at... Um, They're at 4,000, right? Yeah, 4,000. Right? You have 3,600 life points. Okay. My turn? Yeah, your turn. Okay, let's see what I can do. Actually, all of Dennis are monsters gain 300 attack and defense. He had 1,700 attack and uh, he had 7... Mine has 1,800. 1,800? How does he have 1,800? Amulet of Ambition. How much does it increase the attack For every by? level that your monster has and is a difference to my monster, my monster gains... 500 attack points, yeah, right? 500 times 2 is 1,000. So and your I monster have has 1,700. With Dinosaur Kingdom, I, we both had the same amount of attack. Wait. So both of our monsters are destroyed. Oh. Wait. Yeah, that's the math. Well, that's what we what evil is, a cheat. Now I gotta say something to you here. That's some Joey now man. Now this man like dinosaurs got a high IQ. Even though he's lacking in the strength department. Kind of like yous. If you uh, high cues. Nah. It's Anthosaurus. He attack you directly for 1300 life point damage. Ah. Uh, 2700. No. no! My turn? Yep. I draw. Not getting no good ones? You shuffled before you started, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Because they give us to us in like the in spells order. and traps and monsters are all separate. I summon basic insect by activate white elephant's gift to draw two more cards. Then I activate Dark Factor's Mass Production to get my monsters back into my hand. Since I already normal summoned, I can't do much. Let me see the uh, White Elephant's Gift. Send one non-effect monster to the graveyard and draw two cards. Could be from your hand, so we won't count that as your no. normal summon. Alright, then... I set a monster, then I call the turn. Okay, I draw. Two. Four, In this department, two, I'm the master. Four, six, seven. Okay. 
Um, it don't look like I got too much to do this turn. Other than, you know, I'm going to set a card. And then I'm going to end my turn. I'm going to draw. I'm going to set a card, then call the turn. Because I could move with um, Mass Dark Factor Mass Production. Yep. Since I now just have a bunch of monsters. Okay, I summon Hyper Hammerhead in attack mode. Alright. And now both my monsters will attack both your face down defense position monsters. Like, which one will attack? Straight lines. Alright. My monster effect activates. Plus, my guy has 1500 defense. Ah, so he won that one. If I'd have done the X, I would have been good. But I lost uh, 200 so I life points. I one monster that I want. And then, with 1500 or less attack... Oh, Alex, I've been doing it wrong. Um, I've not been, like, I didn't shuffle. Uh. Well, you know, we'll just, maybe next time. Maybe no, you just didn't shuffled. shuffle well it's enough. Shuffled. Yeah, it didn't shuffle well enough. I'll select that card. Mm. All right. I selected my monster, and it is now the end of your turn. Yep, now you go. I draw. I activate worm bait. If I control an insect monster, I can get two worm tokens, so I guess they'll be the unused of our skills. Yeah. And then they have... No attack, they're level one and they have no attack and defense. So just I activate my skill card hyper. If I control a level three or lower um, card, I can discard two cards. Uh, this card. This card. This card. We contribute one level three or lower, which will be the token, and tokens don't go to the graveyard. Yep. To summon one perfectly ultimate great moth. Oh my god. In it's perfectly ultimate. Ignoring its summoning conditions. You got some type of crazy 3,500 attack points, right? Yeah. Okay, well, you know what I'm going to do? Order to charge. What will that do? Order to charge. Target one non-token normal monster Actually, you control. Tribute that normal monster. And if you do, destroy one monster your opponent controls. So I'm going to destroy Anthrosaurus. And then I'm going to send Perfectly actually, Ultimate Great do, Moth. I actually can't do that move. Oh, well, we'll just say you did and I blocked it. We'll just say the skill negates any card effects. All right, so... Hey, the skill negates card effects? I guess. Let me see it. Well, we'll just say that since I forgot the... Um, now, we'll just say you I've, summoned your Great Moth, but I just destroyed it using this super awesome ultimate rare, ultra rare card that I got. So, my. So he's gone. I killed him. But my normal type monster. <laughs> and a spell. Doesn't say anything about. Oh, yeah, this is a field spell. Yeah, I know. I just been keeping it in the field. So, a I bit. guess this card goes. Flip face down again. Well, it's been I used think, yeah, already. yeah, you already used it. So, um, my turn's done. I will draw a card. Two, four, five, six. Okay. I'm going to sacrifice Hyper Hammerhead in order to summon Wait, you... Dark Triceratops. Wait. 
Anyways. And then Dark Triceratops is going to attack your hidden parasite token. And because Dark Triceratops, he does piercing damage, I win the first round. Uh, Alright. This was my hand. Yeah, and this was my hand. I had boss monsters that I couldn't really summon. I'm the only one who actually summoned a boss monster. Yeah, you actually summoned the ultimate great. If I didn't have uh, order to charge, I would have lost. But that's well, the thing. Well, I was also cheating by because of the card. We don't use that. the C word. I hope you guys like that video of us showing off like Wait, we very have to do a round duel. two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have to do a round two where we're using the other decks. Oh, you want to switch them over? Yeah, we'll switch Yeah, decks. let's do that. Since and you guys... And uh, so that's that. They got the view of... One of each of us using the deck. Okay, now which one, one of my cards do I want? Hidden Parasite. Top four cards in deck. Once per turn, you can change all monsters on the field to card. insect. Until oh, yeah, the, the skills end are of this pretty turn. Good. Also, any battle damage your opponent takes is halved the rest of the turn. I would you add my duel up to links twice per duel. ID, but I don't have a duel links anymore. Your opponent takes for the rest of this turn is halved. Um, it's a pretty good effect. I think I might want to. What's my summoning card? Flip this card over when you activate this skill. I think I'm going to use this one. I'm guessing it's Hidden Parasite. How'd you know? <laughs> because... There's only one other one that it could be. Yeah, there's only one other one. Well, you shouldn't have done that, because... Fiddlesticks, then. Whatever. <laughs> Maybe I've got an effect I... monster that gains points for every single you should what about oh hoo, 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 hoo. yes i do what? you are done for i just like clock this in queen? yep oh crap i didn't get this Alright, i think you should go i think you should decide who goes first um, I think you, I'll go first this time. Alright. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set a card. Oh, so I'm on Instagram sometimes, I'm just not on it. This and then... Time. And it's at Fatal underscore Shelf. Yeah, and now it's Fatal Shelf slash Andrew's turn. <laughs> I draw. I set a card and activate card advance. Which lets me see the top five cards in my deck. And rearrange them in any order. Oh, I just thought about a perfect strat that I should have done for the other skill card. Whatever. Is it the card I used? Yeah. Alright, I can place them in any order, so no need to shuffle. Then... I... Oh, did you activate card advance? Yeah, I activate nice card. Nice card, right? It's very sweet. I set, I set this card and call the turn. I will draw. Um, I, well, this game isn't going to be any fun if we keep playing defense, so I think I'm going to go on the attack. And I summon big insect. Okay. And I'm gonna attack your face down. Two thousand, baby. Two, Two thousand defense. Oh, you got back, Stego. My turn. Yeah. I draw. Activate card advance. 
You get two card advances? Yeah. It's, I said it to be like that. So well, I don't I'm, think you should have set up your card advance like that. It's not cheating. It's just Well, it's not cheating. It's dumb. Because you get card advance, and then the first thing you do again is play card advance. You already got your five cards set up, and you're only going to have one additional card in the fray. Still, who cares? I guess you don't. It's a card. I'll choose this. Wait. No. I will. Put my face down. Do that. I use card advance twice. It's awesome. In a row, too. Alright. Okay, so I lost I 800 should... life points. No, um, you lost... Yeah, you lost 800. Okay, so I tribute I'm at 3, Black 200. Stego to summon Dark Triceratops and equip with Ray's Body Heat. So now it has 2700 attack. What is... Is Ray's Body Heat just... For any monster? Just dinosaurs. Just dinosaurs? Yep. And okay. I attack your face down. Well, you attack my Pinch Hopper. When Pinch Hopper is sent to the graveyard, I can special summon one insect type but monster from you know, my. You know, something with Dark Triceratops? It deals piercing damage. And I have 2,700. 27, and I've got. I've got 3,700 life points. Quit bugging. I've got 3,300. Quit bugging. And Quit bugging while I summon my insect queen. Okay. And you know what? That's not even my turn start yet. So you know what I'm going to do? Wait, how was insect queen summoned? Pinch hopper. Aw, oh, damn. I should have done this. I will draw. Mm -hmm. I summon alien alien section and then I activate hidden parasite okay now hidden parasite turns every monster on the field into a into a bug into an insect so now dark dry ceratops is dark dry Sarah ant and one, two, three. Insect queen I gains still attack. Love this turn. Well, Ray's body heat. It. Is I know Ray's body heat doesn't work. So now he's at twenty four again. He's at twenty six. Insect queen is, and I will attack. You take two hundred. You know but I gotta send this guy to the graveyard. I'm but wrong. now, since Insect Queen destroyed one of your monsters, I get an insect token. Actually, no, I want my pinch hopper there. So if you attack this pinch hopper, he's just a token. Don't worry about him. Then why isn't it face up? So it no effects, right? No effects on it. It's just a bug. Um. I am my turn. I draw. I activate eight white elephants' gift, sending my big insect to the graveyard. I don't know why I just started talking like Weevil. You sound like a dink when you talk like that. I am a dink. You're not as dinky as Weevil. I use card advance to get the card advance. <laughs> okay, anybody watching this? Order to smash. <laughs> Pokemon. Defense mode. You could have just put him face down. But then I wouldn't have gotten the point boost. Oh yeah. 
So, two, four, six. Pinch Hopper goes to the graveyard again, so hey, I hey, can hey, attack hey. you. This guy goes in defense position if you declare an attack. Oh, so. And you, but none of my monsters can be attacked except this one. No, well, you only have one monster. So he's destroyed, and you saved yourself this turn. My turn. I draw. You saved yourself. Hmm. I have lost. Are you going to declare your loss? Or are you just going to try and summon something and do what you can? I must... Wait, your field spell... The... I can only, I can use it twice per turn or twice per duel, but I have to use it once and then deactivate it and then activate it again. So wait, doesn't that mean? So Dryceratops becomes a. Was Triceratops and now it's Triceratops. Now that I deactivated the skill card. All right, I summon. Omensaurus. Oh no! A fire breathing Saurus to destroy my little bug. And if there's earth attribute monsters, it negates the effects of them. Oh shit. I attack this guy. Oh fuck. So, so it he's would, gone immediately. Does it negate graveyard effects? Destroyed by battle with this card. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can add one insect monster with 1,500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. You can't do that. Okay. Is that a good move or what? I guess, but now I really I gotta do... I didn't even know his... I really gotta do a heart of the cards here. All you gotta do is draw all five pieces of Exodia in one draw. Oh! We're in bait. But you cannot normal summon. I don't care because I don't have anything to normal summon. And I don't really need to normal summon. Because, guess what I needed? I needed a way to attack your element source because I need to sacrifice a monster. Wait. God damn. So my guy's gone? Your guy's gone. You have 100 life points left. What you gonna do, buddy? I draw. I set a card and in my turn. I too will draw. I am going to summon my basic insect. Going to set two cards. And then I'm gonna send this token to the graveyard so I can attack your defense monster. And I lost. You didn't lose. How did you lose? I don't have any cards in my hand. Draw a card, it's your turn. You can attack twice. Oh yeah, I can, I can attack with basic insect, that's right. Ha, you got beaten by basic insect. You shouldn't have said nothing, because you would have gotten your turn. Anyway, all I had in my hand was Cocoon of Evolution. These are some pretty cool decks, though. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of synergy in them, a lot to be learned from them. In addition, they seem like the types of decks that if you were to shuffle them together, that could be one normal deck. Mm -hmm. Ain't this cool. Booyah. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, yeah. don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. And also, don't forget to check out my little brother here, Fatal Shelf. They do all your advertisements now. Fatal Shelf underscore 263. Fatal Shelf 263 on the YouTube and on the Instagram. I've been sitting on a chair in a way that I'm about to fall off. 
Have a good one, guys. Oh, yeah, I got this from a, from a pack. Arena of Lost Souls. Oh, you got limited... Okay, we'll talk about Arena of Lost Souls in a different video. We'll get anyway. packs in Calgary. Have a Let's good one, packs. guys.